And good day there, BBPNN guests there. Well, as we've had our big wrap-up there with BBPN Season 9, congratulations to our grand champion there, Tasser, in there. And it's Scooting on Dead. We're going to take you also to Sunday. Bloody awful Sunday. That's time for Blood Bowl So Bizarre. It's indeed bloody awful, because you can hear the cheering in the background. There, Constable Ed, reliable as always. You gotta love that, mate. There. Wonder if it's his wife will ring the anniversary again this week. Uh, I haven't checked the calendar. I should more often there. It's amazing how many times there's an indicator on it. Uh, let's take a look here at these two firms here. Yeah, Dark Elves and Amazons. And we really haven't had the pleasure of actually casting these two coaches before here in the uh, bloody awful there. And I hear wonderful and great things about them. Well, let's see if they can actually demonstrate wonderful and great things. That is always the great... How we say, je ne sais quoi? Let's take a look here. Amazons and Dark Elves. It's an interesting matchup. And yes, free move. They can get going here. Oh yeah, yeah, get moving. Get moving. Yeah, move as fast as your bloody car. And at least that's the theory anyway. Alright, now... Let's take a look here. The Dark Elves firm, as you can see there, there is quite a bit of tackle there. So, they should be able to deal with this problem. However, as you can see there, the Calendar Girl, AV6. She's definitely taking a chink off the armor there. And yet, yeah, she's definitely a vulnerable target. Meanwhile, immediately. This is Sparta! So he gets the first takedown of the day, gets a stun, but as I've said before, and I'll say again, any time you only get a stun on Amazons, it's kind of disappointing. Because you kind of need to remove them. And we saw that with that other fine Amazon firm there. Oh dear. Bang! Let me guess. It's a stun. Finish him. Oh, come on. Quick little check out of the Dark Elves here. You can see here, three rerolls, both the Gary, and of course, they do have the fame. Yes, they brought the slaves here to go chair for them. They've got a good solid firm here, no reserves as you can see there, and well, it's a firm 11 player firm here. Amazon, as you can see here, three rerolls, they've got plenty of boost, two apothecaries came in, and indeed they have the wizard there. So they have come gunning for bear, and of course you can see free bear for everyone there. Mmm, cheers. Ah, boy, as soon as I can get that bloody camera actually working correctly. Yeah, I know, it's testing, testing, trying to improve the broadcast more. All right, he's got the Calico. He's up the field here. Does he want to pass it now? Yes, he does. And there it is. Perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Silence! I kill you! And there it is. The Magic Fireball. It's a beautiful shot. Gets two stuns, but that's all they get. <laughs> However, it's not bad. It is 50% knockdown there. So, you know, not bad. You got half of them. It's a good shot, and now all you have to do is get in here and try and steal a Calico. And you do have not one, but two AG4 players that can do it. Okay, she's a bit out of position here, but you know what I mean? This lady can easily romp her, stop her, and get her way in there. Amazon's quickly turning the corner there. It, it might be a bit disappointing here for the Amazon coach. It is a very early use of the fireball, but you can see the Dark Elves, their thinking was they needed to draw it out and draw it out now. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think it was absolutely the correct play to do. And there we go. First dodge. Now you need to dodge here. Oh, no. Goes straight in. Gets the calico. Beautifully done. And now dodges away. I said dodges away. Well, let's re-roll that. Yeah, pushing her luck, wasn't she? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> who do you indeed? It was a dodge too far by the Amazons. A dodge too far. 
They made everything. I, 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 I do applaud. Yeah, bravo, bravo, bravo on the aggressive play. It's just a dodge too far. The calico bounces here, and it's actually favorable for the dark elves. So what was all that approved? Dark Elves easily recover the Calico, move it back into pos protected positions here. Well, actually not quite protected. Amazons can get around that. Big kick right there. They did something in their pants, all right. And yeah, that is yet another stun. Another solid block right there. And again, it's part of the frustration so far. The Dark Elf coach here on turn two. He's breaking armor. He's just not doing anything with it. All he gets is the usual, Oh, look, it's a stun! Again, for the first time. Repeatedly. No, I know, that sounds sarcastic. And, you know, you still are trying to beat a 7. 7, of course, being an average die roll there. Right smack in the middle there. So you do have to write... A... There we go! Oh, hell no! Yeah, well, there goes the first apothecary, and yep, she is alive. I wasn't even going to bother singing the song. We knew that was coming right there. Well, we did. That was obvious. Like I said, two apart. Well, now one. Dr. Helix in the house. How? No, wait, that's the werewolf knight. Okay. Yeah, 42% chance of breaking AV7. I totally agree. That is about that is the perfect math right there. And this is why Mighty Blow is so huge there against AV7. Because it only makes 7 average roll break the armor. And that's why, you know, AV7 doesn't like Mighty Blow very much. Oh, there goes Mrs. AV6, but she's still alive. She is still alive. Yep. AV6 there, yeah, she's got an extra skimpy, eeny meeny, tiny leather dominatrix bikini. Try to say that five times fast. I'm not, I'm not sober enough, let alone drunk enough. Is there a difference? Oh no, well the Amazons, as you can see, they're chosen up, fade back, they're gonna fade back, they've had the one removal, have a poth carried it. What they're looking for is they're trying to force the Dark Elves to lose something there, yeah, AV8 equals Mighty Blow protection, yeah, exactly, I've heard that one used before. Big hit right there! Hell yeah! Oh, another 42% made the crack, and yeah, Optimus Black is just, well, he's only stunned. There's another one taken down right there. Now, there we go, power drop up. Now, this calendar girl is in great shape. AG5 movement 8, she is dynamite. And yes, she re rolls that. Now, turn 3, you, you still got 3 re Oh no. Do you have sidestep? No, you don't. All oh, Amazons cannot ignore this one if this becomes... Yeah, they're not ignoring that. But you can see the Dark Elves, this is the thinking. You can't ignore that. We're going this way. I know, crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. Run, cowards! Well, I wouldn't say exactly that extreme, but you know, you know what I mean there. Amazons, of course. Ha, hello! Welcome to the cast. Yeah, he can't resist this one. This is such an obvious target. Especially with a beer stand there. It's plus one straight to injury. Come on! Come on! I know you want to. Come on! And yet... Yeah, wait. Okay, now this is serious overcommitment at this point. This is 100% overcommitment. But here's the logic. And fails! Not once, but twice takes the down because she doesn't have block and so much for that idea. Got a stun out of it. I know, why did the witch dodge back? I don't know. He just, he, he'd already burned the reroll and he just felt like he had a one in his dice. Maybe a lot of ones in his dice. I don't know. It's possible if this was Blood Bowl the first, the original series, I would say absolutely. But instead... Run, bitch! Ah, uh, yeah, here they go. Falling down the field here. Dark Elves. Well, let's just be blunt here. The risk paid off. She's likely going to survive. Keyword. Likely. I wouldn't guarantee that. Have you seen these bro- Yeah, you've seen all of them. Yeah, you've been seeing lots of them then. Thank you all for paying attention occasionally. It helps pay for the beer. Cheers. Push me, push you. And cheers again. Mmm. Yeah, I love the Twitch regulations about drinking. It's like, as long as it's not excessive. Define excessive. Big hit right there. Down she goes. And you can see there, it's like, why are you still standing? Well, I don't want to get chain pushed. Okay. 
Yeah, help pays for the morphine yesterday. More morphine! Yeah, that was just a hell of a day, wasn't it? Well, the first one's down. And now next week, mission number two. And this time we won't take the piss, will we? Speaking of Amazons... It's an interesting, you know, idea here. Do the Amazons just concede the touchdown and try and get some solid removals? It's probably a better idea. Okay, we'll take a bit of a piss. Yeah, exactly. Amazons, I... This is kind of thinking more long-term here. They're figuring, you know what? Let's take a surf or two first. Then we'll worry about this here. Because if the Dark Elves do not get certain players back here, it is only Amazon's advantage. And it, you know, it's 11 on 11. Remember, they do have the spare apothecary. They've already used one. There we go. There's the push. And into the crowd he go. Oh, come on. Fortune doesn't favor fools. And the casting booth is utterly disgusted at you, the sober ones. Yeah, exactly. Utterly disgusted. All that effort, you got nothing. If we remember, we were talking about the percentages there. Well, there's the foul. Bang, 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 bang. And that is no surprise right there. No surprise whatsoever. There goes the Calder girl. Oh, she's feeling that one in the morning. And there goes the apothecary. Yep, and Amazon training has done wonders once again here. Yeah, crowd disappointing coaches since forever. You got that one right. You got that one right. Easy do dodge out there by AD4. It's, she almost got it. She almost got the miracle play earlier on. Like I said, beautiful aggression shown by the coach there. It, it just didn't quite pay off. But that's fine. You know, it, it gives you a sort of, you know, like I said, unisex wise, Cord would say, or Luke Cord for especially there of how these coaches play and how to keep a good eye on them later because they're not afraid to risk is the business. Speaking of this, the frenzy from the other calendar girl. Are we scoring it now or are we going to stall it? Nope, scoring it now. He is good. 1-0. And I always love Dark Elf fans. It's always one of my favorite charts for them to play. It really is there. <sighs> Boy, they know how to chart and throw a rave. They really do. So, 11 on 11 here. We've got no actual removals that have stuck here. Hell, we haven't really even seen a KO, have we? No, and you, know, you, you the supporters out there, the crowd, you, you've been the ones we've been expecting to do pain. Lots and lots of pain. No, you haven't been doing any of it there. I don't know. What's your excuse? That's fair. All right. That's fair. All right. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. No problem there. Absolutely fair. Now, Amazons, they've got four turns to score here. This should be, in theory, easy. I stress the word theory. We all know how well theory works. Remember BBPN Season 9 Finals, they're the dwarves. Ow! Oh, scoring should be easy! Mm-hmm. Famous words. Don't get me wrong, the court certainly tried, it just wasn't there. Yeah, some days... Ow! Oh, oh. Right, change of weather command. Yep, exactly. There we go. <laughs> Well, you've got... Oh, she catches it anyway! Well done! Bravo! And double skull to start your attack here. So, the Amazons, as you can see, no rerolls. They're all gone. Iron Man is now the way of the future here. A one die block. Amazing enough there. Push me, push you. Doesn't achieve anything there. Now we go back to two dice here. Right now... Oh, there we go, maybe? No? Be about 20% cooler. Clearly, still does. Yeah, we're still at Stunville. There's the rassle. Down we go here. Well, they did apothecary the foul, I'll say that. So, just a reminder there Dark Elves, no apothecary left anymore for the rest of the game. And the Amazons. 
Some would say that's a bit extra paranoid, but remember, Elf Dickery, and this is Dark Elves, and both these coaches have shown high quality when it comes to risk here. So, it wouldn't surprise me if they, you know, decide to get a wee bit aggressive. Speaking of aggressive... Yeah, that was aggressive, alright. Did it achieve anything? No! 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 Nothing! Oh, no! The horror! The horror! Now quit overacting out there. Okay, so, Dark Elves. They can play this cautious, or they can play it aggressive. Yeah, basically that's your two choices here, and quite frankly with two rerolls here. Yeah, aggressive's probably the way they're gonna go here. There we go, power of frenzy here, and has to reroll because she doesn't have the old blocker. She's got that though, and nicely hit. Round one. Fight. Yeah, round one, all right. Took you long enough, and there you go. Congratulations, your first KO of the day. Yeah, finally your first KO of the day. Yeah, I know, it is bullshit taking that long, isn't it? Dark Elves, of course. Readjusting where they're going to screen it in. And this is their aggression. That's it. That's their aggression right now. However, they are keeping a very loose screen. And they're hoping to encourage the Amazons to make a mistake. You might be waiting a while, son. You might be waiting a while. But, you know, bless you for trying. Because, hey, nothing would make mistakes for you. We all know how that works in this game. Amazon's redeploying here to the side here. It's kind of important they do want to score on this drive, speaking of. Yeah, just a stun, that's why the laughter. And meanwhile, charging in. Oh, they're going after the Calder girl again. Now it's the other one this time there. That's the tackle. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Yeah, the power of Mighty Blow, we were talking about that, and well, you only get stunned out of that one there. Crack the armor on the first twain. Stun City! Come to thee! Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know, it's like the old song goes, Stun City! That's where we're going! Frustration all day! Oh god, I'm not singing that one again. Ugh, unless someone tips me, I swear. And here we go, Dark Elves, readjusting as we speak here. Taking an attack here, taking the piss out of the catcher here has gone forward. Nice kick, nice takedown. Does bugger all, but, you know, nice try. Nice try indeed, does contain the catcher. Not a stun though, so in melee, she's got options. None of them good, but she does have options. Now, let's see how the Dark Elves actually play this here. Do they keep this area nicely screened? Because this is kind of honourable. Now, admittedly, pissing rain. The sprinkler system has been turned on, so no guarantee. But she is IG4. She can make a run for it. She really could. And meanwhile, over there, there's the push. Rerolls it for zero reason, only just to try and get something better. And that might have been a mistake. So much for that idea. So much for that great try. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Amazon's restacking and oh, well, here she comes, so to speak. Yep, she's even breathing heavy. Big hit, big takedown, and it's even a KO! Nicely done, beautifully done. I know, big oh, Yeah, pair of 45s right in the face. That will do wonders. Yeah, <laughs> it will do wonders indeed. There she goes! Well, she was supposed to go further, actually. Not risking the GFI. Again, this is the problem with not having any rerolls right now. Big kick down right there, takes them down, advances the party. Okay, so you're the ultra receiver, are you? Alright! That could work. That could work indeed. Run, bitch! Amazon's trying to keep things nice and contained. See, like I said, Dark Elves might have overcommitted on the one side here. Here she comes. Does she make the throw? Yes, she does! Oh, good god, she got it! I know, bloody amazing! She actually got oh! Time for a true display of skill. And there's the dribble right there trying to cut the corner. Oh dear, well, we knew that was coming eventually there. Don't worry, don't worry. We all knew that was probably going to happen. Yeah, a lot of frustration back to the game there. Dodge this! So oh, you don't have to tackle, do you? <laughs> Does free up the blocker. Comes in. Now, the shame is he should be the one actually throwing the block, and he doesn't. Okay. 
He should be the one throwing the block, because he's got block and she doesn't have anything. But I guess he's got an idea. Oh, let's hope this idea actually works for him, because this could backfire in so many ways. Well, here it is. Makes the easy dodge, makes it look very simple. Oh! Shut up and take my money! <laughs> Did I not tell you that greed reroll just for a different result was a bad idea? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Go to the conference. But get right there. Oh, no. block on block. Well, that didn't work out as planned there. Yeah, either should have just cut the corner. Should have. Could have. Would have. Didn't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, that was the Dark Elves' choice there. And here she comes, cuts the corner, goes in around, and we're on the board. We are tied up at one. Well, there you go, your halftime score. We are tied up at one. This halftime course is being brought to you here by Get the Ref. Yes, the best NAF broadcast there you can get for Blood Bowl. Especially this week, we've been talking about Blood Bowl 2020 and the future of what is going to go with Blood Bowl in the Western provinces and territories. Get the Ref, it certainly pays. I've been waiting a while to give their, their little plug. Highly endorse them, lads. Highly endorse them. They are fantastic. Okay, let's see. What have we got here today? What have we got here today? And yes, yeah. What have we got? Let's see. Yeah, we look tied up. 1-1. Amazon's on the offense here. Can we tear the spread? I love the wet look. I certainly do there. Oh, well, no in the tackle zone, so you can actually move a little bit. Does that help a little bit? Well, you're all ready. We're going to go and get the calico, so that means you basically moved five squares. And does she catch it? No, no, no. Only so much can fit in between that brassiere. All right, Amazon's on the offense here, yeah, as we're already seeing here. Oh, we've got to KO. Now, the KO does mean the Amazons are down a player this drive here, so it's 10 on 11. Next little hit there, push me, push you here. So far, nothing. Alright, we'll try this one here, going for the big hit there. Come on, Amazons just want to see anything at this point here. Ah, whoppy, 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 it's just a stun, that's all they get to see for that effort. Maybe one little hit there. Double checking there, you can see the Dark Elves, they don't have anything there, it's the Amazons who have the booze, yeah, she's enjoying it really well, apparently. Typical. Must be that fine elven wine again there, with a whiskey chaser. Speaking of chaser, well, she's chasing nothing over there, can't get the knockdown. Now let's try and get the Calico, there we go, AG4, absolutely wonderful, never fails, except on this broadcast, it seems like, there. Yeah. Ask poor hammer time, oh, that is just, that is just cruelty. Hell of a game there, lads. Hell of a game. Check it out. It is on the uh, Twitch station there. You can go take a peek and enjoy the hilarity. That was the live broadcast of Blood Bowl Season 9 Grand Finales there. Push me, push you, and well, do we see some success? Yes, we do. Oh, no. There she goes. Oh, it's just a stun again, is he? Stun City. That's where we're going. Yeah, we're going to be going there all fucking day, it seems like. Dark Elves showing a bit of hyper-aggression here. Well, it, 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 they, how do we put it there? They showed a bit of aggression, but then they had a combination of hesitation with that aggression. So it, it, it's like the original Hulk. Make up your mind. Action-packed, adventure, or, or, or kidified. Choose one. No? Can't make up your mind. You wonder why the first Hulk failed as a film. Great cast, failed as a film. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it for now. Before they did the recast again, and then they did a recast again again. It's just insane there. 
Uh, anyway, speaking of insane, then the Amazons have an idea. Once again, they're going after this little sweetheart, remembering she doesn't have block, and down she goes. Just like my sister did on Friday night. Well, she does it for the right price, and there's nothing wrong with that. Can't be critical of work skills. Amazon's remaneuvering here. Give me a quick little two die block here. Push me, push you as they work here. I think we differ on the opinion of great cast. Oh, don't worry. It, it could have been better. Season 10 is going to be absolutely phenomenal. We know it is. We're going to have all these extra things added in there by that time there. All right. The power of jo Oh, gets the power right off the bat there. Big kick down. Yeah, yo, indeed. Beautifully done. There's the twitch, 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 twitch. And down the they go there. And meanwhile, push me, push you there, Dark Elves. No, I'm enjoying a two a playing advantage here. Go after the ball carrier. There's the skull reroll. And unfortunately, all they get is actually a push. Tonight we hunt. I would agree if I was the Dark Elves, I would be extremely disappointing on that result. You got it, you got it, you don't got it. No, you don't got it. And the Dark Elves slam the wall here now, trying to make sure they get this bloody calico back. Now, is this a mistake? Because if somehow she gets rid of it over to here, gone. And there's nothing the Dark Elves can do about it. Oh, I'm serious. Th this could be a huge mistake. Let's see if the Amazons actually can figure out a way of getting out of this one here. Push me, push you here. Amazons, well, they're keeping the ultimate receiver ready. They know what they want to do here. And now they're going to see, can they get creative? Swing and a push. Well, let's just start. Oh, this is going to be really interesting here. This is going to be Nufflet's worst, Nufflet's best. Pick one. And there's the Rassle, because that is exactly what they wanted. And it, there she goes. Easy AG4 dodge out of the backside. And now, time for the pass. Dun, 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 dun. Time for a true display of skill. Ah, it was. That it was. And then fails the dodge. Has to reroll that to go camping in there. Charges in. Push me, push you. We'll try to slow them down. And now here she goes, full speed ahead. Run, bitch! Run! There's been a lot of that today. It's only game one. It's only game one. Easily cuts the corner there, makes the dodge, gets into a much better and comfortable position, and then takes the extra risk just to stop the, the calendar girl. Smart, aggressive play there, once again, by the Amazons. Dark Elves. All right, now what are you going to say there? Yeah, there they overcommitted. Yes, yes, they did. So committed, they kind of forgot about her. And they didn't think that one through. They got so obsessed with slamming the wall, they kind of forgot about little things like that. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding, and I will eliminate you. I am, I am justice. You're a loony. Thanks for staying still, wanker. All right, gerbils have done it again. The gerbils have done it again. There goes another reroll, and now they cut the corner. You were saying about cutting the corner there, lad. Yeah, I know. This is bullshit, isn't it? Yep, double one. Failed the first dodge. Then, well, okay, a, a one, a six, a one. It got split up by a six in there, but that's pretty fucking brutal, isn't it? And remember, they rolled another one over there, so three out of five were ones. Nice, we scattered one, whatever, one, whatever, one. Gotta love that dice array. Quick little push, and she's even stunned herself nicely there, so the Amazons actually have an interesting opportunity here. Holy dooly! They can stall. I'm serious, they can actually stall this one here and try and solidify a 2-1 victory. Remember, they are down two players on this drive. They're doing the best. Fowler, you hardly know her. There we go, solid hit right there. And well, we're off to turn 12 there. Shadow Tricks really just... Ah! It's like he just can't quite find his perfect balance in this one particular game there. It's just that's what it's looking like so far. And again, fails the dodge. How'd you like to fail it twice there? Oh. Hasta la vista, baby. 
Yeah, I know, two plus dodge, so fucking hard, it's so fucking hard, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, if he'd gone the long way, he would have made it, yep, you saw that, didn't you? If he'd gone the long way, he would have made it, but he's so eager to cut the corner, now... Probably uh, apparently our moderator has been whispering in his ears. Yeah, foul. Oh, well, mm, uh, mm, yeah, so I think that's about to happen right there. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, yeah, and the glistering, glistening, blah, 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 blah. yeah, that thing. <laughs> and she goes strutting down the sideline to her fans. And here we go. Time for the foul. How are you feeling, uh, sweet tits? <laughs> Well, that's a KO, all right. How could you not break the armor on that one? How could you not break the armor? Now, seriously, I've got questions about that. How could you not, with those, break the armor? Oh, come on, Ed. What are you call? Oh, she signed your autograph, did you? Your, your autograph collection there for the calendar. All right, that's legit. Well, turn 14. All right, the Dark Elves are done. No, that's it. The Dark Elves have just said it. They're, they're done. They are utterly done at this point. They're going, no, nah, forget it. Fuck this. Well, the Amazons aren't done with this one yet. There we go. Rerail gets the power here. He's trying to take out the AV6 runner. Well, he's alive. What the hell is that one? Oh, who's been sending me new soundboards? It's one of you buggies, I know it. Ah, I'm gonna glare at Steiner when he shows up later. It sounds like something he'd do. La la la, la 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 la. Yeah, and there she goes. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You don't want me on the camera for that one there. <laughs> I don't sell it very well. I really don't, you yeah. mm. ah, That I'd sell. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Troubled Monk, if you want a sales pitch, there it is. And here we go. No, no, they do make some fine ales. They really do. What's today here? Pesky pig. <laughs> it's, made, it's made from real former police officers and the tears. Nice kick right there. Ooh. Ooh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Yeah, I understand something all right there. The Amazons are just too tough. They're just too tough. There's a lot of armor breaks on this Dark Elf team. Oh, well, the Amazons are just going to strut that one in there, and they're going to take the victory 2-1. to one. I know, you're kind of frustrated about that one, aren't you there? Let's turn this one around here. So, let's take a look here at what's left of the Amazons. One ejection and a KO. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all there. They did recover one. And the calendar girl, she's staying out for what's good for her then. And hey, free reroll. Like they needed it. Like they needed it. Like a hell in the fucking head. No, they're not even going to bother. They're not even going to bother. And there it is, your final result there. This is match week three here in round two. So, yes, the Amazons will take a good, comfortable, solid win there. Two to one over the Dark Elves there. And we're going to see how things are going to start seeding very shortly in the bloody awful crew there as they set up for the playoffs there. And that we're going to be all bringing to you all starting next week there. However, we're not done with bloody awful. There's still games to cover today there. So now it's time for me to go and chug a beer and get ready for match number two. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Enough all. Bless your dice. <laughs>